Good day. In this video, we will be learning the measures of dispersion. In our previous video, we already learned the measures of central tendency and we know that a certain set of data can be represented in a single volume. But sometimes it is not enough to describe a set of data because there are some data that have outliers and sometimes uh, data are compressed with each other or we have a wide range. That is why we have these measures of dispersion or sometimes we call the spreadness of the data. Okay, because again, data can be can have higher and lower or can have maybe in the average or maybe spread out or not that spread out. So that is measures of dispersion. So first type or kind of measure of dispersion is what we call the range. This is the simplest one. Huh? The range. For example, you are watching music video of Justin Bieber. So the range of or the, the duration for that is more or less three minutes. So that is what we call the range from the end to the beginning or from lower value to higher value. We are just going to simply subtract highest is 9 minus the lowest which is 3 that is equal to 6. That is now our range. Okay. Next is the variance. Okay. Variance from the name itself. Variance. Varied. No? How varied our data are. Okay. So this is by simply finding the average of the square differences from the mean. So in finding the variance, we will be needing the mean so that we can find the distances and then we will be finding the square of it later on. So let us have example right away. Let's say you and your friends compare or compare your dogs in terms of their height. So we have here the list of height of the dogs respectively. We have this dog is 600, uh, 600 millimeter. The, other, the second dog on the line is 470 millimeter and so on. We are asked to find the mean variance and the standard deviation. How to find it? Okay. So first step in the mean is, is very simple. You're just going to add all the data that you have and sub divide it by the total number of data, which is 5. You will have 394. We will be using this 394 later in finding the variance. Okay, and this green line here is what we call the mean. Simple as that. This is the center. Okay, um, the average height of the, do the dogs that, you, that we have here in this example. Next, we need to find the variance. In finding the variance is we need to calculate uh, we need to take each difference okay we need to consider the height for example 600 millimeter this is the first data compared to the mean so 600 millimeter minus the mean which is 394 that will be equal to 206 and then again our mean is 394 next data is 470 470 minus 400 that is 76 I, I think this is 476 or 470 okay that is correct because we have 294 so we have 76 and then you are going to square it and then another example is since this is be below so you have 170 170 minus 324 of course that will uh, be equal to negative and then since we are going to multiply it to itself or square it then it doesn't matter at all we will still be having positive sign and so on and then you are going to square it you will have 26 times itself or squared is 42,436 plus this, 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 and this divided by 5. 
Then you will have sum of it all. That is 108,520 divided by 5. That is 21,704. That is your variance. Okay, that is how varied your data are. But that is in millimeters, in terms of millimeters. 21,704. That is a variance. Well, the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. In this example, you have this theta here. Theta. By the way, the, theta squared is for the variance. Standard deviation is for the... Uh, I mean, theta is for standard deviation. So just use calculator square root of the variance, variance which is 21,704. And that will be equal to 147.32 or 147 millimeter. That is very simple, our standard deviation. As you can see here, we are standardizing. Uh, that is why it is called standard deviation, standardizing the distances from each of the data. Since you have already 147 as your standard deviation, and then you have the mean of 394, you're just going to add 394 plus 147 this will be the standardized distances, equal distances of each data. That is what we call the standard deviation. Okay, so that ends our uh, discussion about standard deviation.